Dear Heavenly Father, may your word be heard today. May my words be your words. And may I be passing on the message that you desire for others to hear today. And I just ask, Lord, that you fill me with the Holy Spirit. And may the Holy Spirit speak to those and grab a hold of their heart for those who need it. I ask that the Holy Spirit carry those who need to be carried. I ask, Lord, that your angels come down and they surround us. And I praise you for all that, the things that you've already been doing and the wonderful, great miracles that we've been seeing this just since I started this study for myself, Lord, and began sharing it with others here on this channel. And I just ask, Lord, that you will continue to do that each and every day with each and every person that continues to tune in and watch every video. Dear Heavenly Father, I am so thankful to know to whom I belong. And I ask, Lord, that through these scriptures we're studying right now on identity, that you will help others to get to that point in their life as well. May you ward off all of Satan's attacks upon those as they are watching and learning and studying, Lord. Give them the strength, give them the courage, give them the wisdom, give them the knowledge. For it is only through you that we are able to accomplish these things for your will, for your kingdom, and in your army, Lord. This is a time of war. This is spiritual warfare. And you know what, Satan? Game on. You may attack from every angle and you may shoot them fiery darts, but guess what? I know to whom I belong, the great I am, the one, the only, the alpha, the omega, the beginning, the end, the everlasting forever. For you, Satan, have no, no home here anymore. You need to go back to the pits of hell where you belong. Because guess what? The more you attack and the more I find out, the stronger I get. So you just go ahead, because this is game on, this is war, and you have no place here, you have no place in the homes of those who are watching. So get out, back to the pits of hell we throw you where you belong. We are done with you coming in and stealing and killing and destroying, trying to destroy. No more. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for who you are and the fact that you died on that cross. I thank you for giving us our identity in you so that we can stand our ground and we can stand firm and we can stand strong upon the rock in which you are. And Lord, I just ask and pray that you be in this study and in this video today and that you reach out and touch the person that you want reached today. Help them, encourage them, inspire them, and motivate them to come to that relationship that you have been so calling them for. May they open the door for you to walk through today. May this video be the video for that. And I thank you and I ask that you continue to be with each and every one of us during the rest of this study. In your son Jesus' precious name we pray. All right, guys. Again, we're studying on identity. And remember, you're not an accident. There is a plan and a purpose for your life. God has things that he wants to use you for that only you can do. Only you were equipped to do. So let's continue to learn about our identity so that we continue to walk. Stand proud. Come on, guys. Everybody get with me. Okay? Have that confidence, have that strength, and know to whom you belong. This one is Romans 8, verses 15 through 17. The spirit you receive does not make you slaves, so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we are God's children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings in order that we may also share in his glory. I don't know about the rest of you, but <gasps> praise God. Thank you, Lord, for loving me that much. Hello. Your Father in Heaven loves you enough to give you your heart's desire. If your heart's desire is, to, is, is going to further his kingdom and bless him and bring others to Christ, of course he's going to give it to you. Now the thing that hit me this morning, during my morning routine, 
I'm still asking because I'm not sure if it's just for me or if it's for everybody. But this whole instant gratification, for me anyway, and you'll have to ask God about you, this instant gratification is a total sin. It totally steals, kills, and destroys our future. Let's kind of put this in perspective a little bit. Basically, it's kind of like... Kind of like when you go in the store, <clears throat> pardon me, it's kind of like when you go in the store and you're at the checkout, and you know how, how they have those uh, things in the aisle by checkout, uh, I believe someone referred to it as impulse buys, okay, those impulse buys are going to snag you, they're going to steal from you. Okay, for those of us working on our finances, that magazine that you just bought spent, I don't know, I don't know. Somebody tell me what magazines go for. I have no idea. What are they, three to five bucks now? That's three to five dollars you don't have to pay towards your debt. That's three to five dollars you ha don't have for whatever it is your family needs to pay the power bill, the water bill, the gas bill, the garbage, the, the mortgage, the taxes, the whatever. That instant gratification is stealing from you. Whoa. Okay, light bulb just came on. Uh, how many of you remember what a library is? And I know in today's society that they're trying to do away with libraries. Too bad, so sad, there's still a bunch of us who prefer libraries. That's where we need to go. It's free. And if there's an article in there that you really want to keep and really want to reread and reread and reread and reread for whatever reason, because God just places it on your heart or it touches you in some fashion, that's what a copy machine is for. Come on. In today's world, today's society, if you don't have internet and a computer and a printer, the world sees you as being on welfare. <clears throat> I remember the time where internet was a luxury. Now, unfortunately, in society, they've made it a necessity for us to live our daily lives, to apply for our jobs, or do whatever. But you know what? Instead of modern technology telling us what to do, we need to tell modern technology what we are going to do. So go to the library, make a copy of it, Stop with the instant gratification, because with our instant gratification, right over here, remember, see, now if we are children, then we are heirs. How much is that instant gratification stealing from you? How much of that instant gratification is, is, is taking your future away from you? The blessings that God has for you. Hello? The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. The best daddy in the world. Hello? And we're just going to throw it away? Well, that magazine, it just, that article looks so interesting. Okay, make a flippin' note, take a picture of it, go to the library, find it, take it out on loan. Better yet, sit at the library, support your library by using their copy machine and paying 10 cents for a copy. That article, that one article, that whole magazine cost you five, five bucks. Oh my gosh, I've actually seen some magazines go for like 18 and 20 bucks, depending upon what they were. So take a dollar and copy 10 pages. A dollar, 20 dollars. Hello, you still have 19 dollars to go take care of your whatever. Utility bill, mortgage, you have taxes coming to you, whatever it is. Come on, guys. We are all responsible for our own actions. And I am not just, I'm preaching to the choir here, okay? I just told you at the beginning of the video, I got spanked this morning. The light bulb came on. Instant gratification is a sin. <clears throat> At least for me. I don't know. All I know is, God, you've got to take over this. You've got to be in this study, Lord, and only through you are any of us going to learn anything. Only through you and your word and us studying and praying fervently are we going to get anywhere in today's society.
And God, I am just so praying that you are touching every person who is watching, that they may come to you, that they may understand, and that they may see when, this, when, when the evil one attacks and what, what he is trying to take from them. Lord, I know in your word it says that, you know, during the end time, selfishness is going to come. Lord, I don't know when your time is that you're going to return, but I do know that all of us totally need to pray and get away from the selfishness in our lives. And I ask, Lord, that you reveal to each and every one of us, me included, where the selfishness, selfishness lies, so that we may rebuke it and walk in you. I thank you for this identity. I thank you for the fact that I am co-heir with Christ Jesus, your son, that you love me just that much, that you love all of us just that much. And I ask that you touch someone today, and may they feel your love as they dedicate their life to you. I thank you so very much, Lord, for showing me how to use this modern technology for you. And I pray all this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, God speed to you as you go out and tackle the world today. And remember to be in fervent prayer in everything. God speed. We'll see you on the next video.